In December 2004, a massive tsunami devastated large parts of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and some parts of southern India. It was a human tragedy on an unprecedented scale. The Pokal event required a truly huge program of relief and rehabilitation. Speed, cost and durable solutions were the key. There were immediate questions and needs. Temporary shelters for the affected, alternative housing for the displaced. The National Mission on Bamboo Applications had meanwhile developed the technologies and manufacturing capabilities to use engineered bamboo boards to meet mass housing needs, particularly in response to crisis and disasters. The housing shelters that had been designed were cheap, durable and easy to construct. They were prefabricated. The system had already been tested for delivery and effectiveness in diverse and climatically different locations. The rehabilitation program for the Andamans required quick and speedy construction of many thousand durable houses for the displaced people. Houses that were cost effective, durable and lasting and also earthquake resistant. Engineered bamboo with its remarkable properties, its versatility and the ease of construction and maintenance emerged as a major building material of choice. The concerned agencies, the NMBA, the CPWD, the National Disaster Management Authority, the state government and the planning commission and urban design experts worked overtime to finalize the specifications of the bamboo material for building purposes. Nine manufacturers were chosen to supply a diverse range of materials cladding, internal partitions, wall paneling, flooring, doors and windows and pole ceiling. Over 3,20,000 boards were to be supplied and 80,000 doors and windows at a cost of nearly 80 crore rupees. 80% of this stupendous task has been completed by the end of 2008 and it has resulted in the construction and allotment of over 3,000 bamboo material houses to the tsunami affected families. It is well to recall that the bamboo boards and housing industry is still a fledgling sector. Learning, finding its feet and growing, trying to establish its case as a superior eco-friendly substitute for timber and plastic materials. The Tsunami Bamboo Housing Project proves to be a unique and uplifting example of a new industry facing a formidable task and fulfilling its promise. We have to do a lot of work in the water, and we have to do a lot of work in the water, and we have to do a lot we found uh, one small thing, you know, the people are uh, feeling uh, very, I mean, coolly uh, conditions with this bamboo mat. The promise that engineered bamboo can effectively meet mass housing needs, particularly in difficult and remote regions with adverse weather conditions. The promise that bamboo construction material is a great wood substitute. Whatever is enabled in timber can by all accounts be enabled in bamboo. The promise that bamboo materials are integral to any disaster mitigation and rehabilitation process. <laughs> When we run up and down, you will feel the air. The outstanding success of the Tsunami Bamboo Housing Project makes a compelling case for substantial expansion of the bamboo boards and housing industry. वैसे तो बैंबू वाला मगा सरकार ने बना किया था अच्छा हमारे लिए उसे तुरंत हमको ये मिल गया था सहायता के लिए तो अच्छा था. Prefab and modular bamboo structures made from engineered and treated whole bamboo should be an essential inventory of a disaster management program at both stages, the readiness stage and the operational stage. The bamboo house that you see 
It is the child of a determined and creative response to a massive natural disaster. It is solid yet light, dismantable yet permanent, affordable and also comfortable. It lives with nature and does not confront it. Rehabilitation is not just physical, it is also emotional and spiritual. As you and I sense, the emotional and spiritual quotient of this abode is high and cannot be measured.